Strolling through a city park, you might spot a flash of orange in a pond, an unexpected goldfish glimmering beneath the surface. Instead of native minnows or turtles, these vibrant pets swim freely, adding color to the urban landscape. It's a charming sight, but not uncommon. Goldfish have found homes in ponds from London to Toronto. Most are released by well-meaning owners who believe their pets deserve a bigger, better life. The idea of a goldfish retiring to a park pond feels kind, but this act sets off a chain reaction. Goldfish, bred for aquariums, are outsiders in these ecosystems. The pond's delicate balance is disrupted by this new arrival. What starts as a single shimmering fish can quickly signal a much larger ecological problem. The goldfish's journey from bowl to pond, though well-intentioned, can threaten the health of the entire aquatic community. That magical splash of gold is often the first sign of trouble beneath the surface. Goldfish are non-native species and their introduction disrupts the balance of urban ponds. Native plants, insects and fish have evolved together, but goldfish upset this harmony. With no natural predators, goldfish populations can grow unchecked. They may carry diseases and parasites, spreading illness to local wildlife unprepared for these threats. Goldfish are voracious eaters, consuming eggs, insects and tadpoles, directly harming native species. Their constant digging clouds the water, blocks sunlight and kills aquatic plants vital for oxygen and shelter. The result is a domino effect, murky water dying plants and declining native populations. Over time, a once thriving pond can become dominated by goldfish, losing its diversity and health. The simple act of releasing a pet can lead to the collapse of an entire ecosystem. What seems compassionate can have devastating, long-lasting consequences. Goldfish are resilient and prolific breeders. In a pond, they can grow large and multiply rapidly. A single female can lay thousands of eggs, leading to population explosions. Soon, hundreds or thousands of goldfish overwhelm the pond, outcompeting native species for food and space. This orange invasion attracts new predators, raccoons, herons, even cats, drawn by the easy meal. These predators disrupt the park further, preying on both goldfish and native wildlife. Increased predator activity can lead to more human-wildlife conflicts in urban parks. The ecosystem's balance is thrown off, affecting both water and land. What began as a well-meaning release turns a peaceful park into a battleground for resources. The goldfish, once a beloved pet, becomes an ecological pest, all from a single act of misplaced kindness. If you can no longer care for your goldfish, releasing it into the wild is not the answer. Instead, seek a new home. Ask friends, family or local aquarium enthusiasts. Many pet stores and aquatic retailers offer adoption or surrender programs. Animal rescue organizations and online fish keeping communities can also help rehome your pet responsibly. Passionate hobbyists often have the right environment for goldfish, ensuring their well-being. Posting in local forums can connect you with someone who understands the importance of protecting native ecosystems. Responsible pet ownership means planning for your animal's future, not just its present. Our urban ponds are fragile habitats that need our protection. By rehoming pets instead of releasing them, we safeguard both the animals and our environment. Let's act as guardians of our parks, ensuring they remain vibrant for generations to come. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Fur Galactica signing off.